Today, I'm at a very interesting place. The Shanghai Natural History Museum. About to pass through a security checkpoint. Just gonna check and make sure I'm not gonna blow the thing. Here we are, inside. Boys. And here we are, inside. We need to walk up this ramp to get into the exhibits. So this part's telling us about things like the Big Bang and stuff. Shows astronomers. Supposed to be, I believe, Tico Brahe. And here's what most people come here for. Pictures of old, cool animals. This dinosaur can move. Scary. Mountain goat. A narwhal. Lots of marine life up here. Some reptiles here. Some turtles. And a land turtle here. Birds. Monkeys and apes. More megafauna. I'm not sure if that's a baboon or a mandrel. I'm going to say that's a mandrel. I'll have to check the display. Definitely a mandrel. These are baboons. Here's these venomous fauna. Goat type creatures, but apparently they're like ibexes, corals, things like that. Moose. Bears, yeah. including some pandas. <laughs> From the Ursidae family, or however you stress that. I'm not actually sure where the syllable stress belongs in Latin. Some wolves. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. Virginia wolf? Some American bison or buffalo, as we often call them. Those are quite some horns there. Rain ears are better than people. And we've also got some kind of big elk back there. And here's the sort of stuff one really goes to a natural history museum to learn about. 
extinct megaphone. Of course, the dinosaurs went extinct long before people showed up. But my understanding is that a lot of big mammals like these ones were hunted to extinction by people. Way back before any such concept of conservation existed. Any actual scientists, feel free to correct my misinformation in the comments if I have provided any. Also, feel free to correct any of my pronunciations of these huge things. Apparently, this was called is called the Indric Beast, the Irish Elk. Can't even imagine seeing something like that. It's so huge. Apparently, this is called the Glyptodon. Sorry, I'm getting so many people and so little of it. It's just a bit crowded here, as usual, because, you know, I'm in China. I mean, it looks kind of like a really big armadillo. I guess? I can't even imagine seeing things like this. Real ones. Nothing more fun than whale bones. I do not know what kind of animal this is. I can see the Chinese character for fish. But really, that could be almost anything in the ocean. Since Chinese common names tend to have fish in things that are not actually fish. Just like how in English we sometimes say starfish and jellyfish. Rhylobites. More trilobites. More. This whole exhibit seems to be primarily about when life first started appearing on land as opposed to just in the sea. So you got these shellfish here. Trilobite implant, imprints, things like that. Early terrestrial plant life. Early invertebrates. And even some early vertebrates here. And here's a bit of an animated perspective of what it might have been like. Can hardly have a natural history museum without a working model of a T-Rex that you can look inside and see its guts. Along with loads of dinosaur bones. Dino bones all over.
fossils were unearthed in Shandong province, which is not too far from here. Maybe around halfway between Shanghai and Beijing. These are also from that site in Shandong. They seem to have antlers or something here. Look at this cute puppy. So apparently these were somewhat elephant-like creatures. Found in Gansu province, which is quite a ways west in China. Mammoth bones. This record of Shanghai shows some animals that used to live in Shanghai. Like the Yangtze River dolphin. These badgers. Teeny little deer and these fowl here. Here's a big replica of what they think a part of Chongming Island in Shanghai once looked like. Full of waterfowl. And here we are on the African savanna. This whole scene kind of makes me think of the opening of Disney's The Lion King. But especially this part. Even got a big rock like Pride Rock. And apparently the museum uh, designers noticed this as well, because look what they put here for the display. Hope Disney doesn't try to sue them for copyright. to actually go outside here as you can see but this is kind of a nice little fountain slash waterfall setup they've got here in a sort of a courtyard of the museum and with that the time has come to make our way to the exit And right here we have a metro station, which I can use to get out of here and go home. Hope you had a fun time with me on this trip to the Shanghai Natural History Museum. If you did and you want to see more of my life in Shanghai, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!